So the overall objective of this particular campaign was to uh, sort of reinforce that Fanta and OAOA are the best counterparts to each other. Right? So they have a uh, there's a larger campaign that's also happening whereby you know there's a there's a whole TVC and a whole proper communication that's going about about how they are they're really good counterparts to each other and they're like two sides of the same coin. Uh, so the objective was to take that message and to create this sort of peripheral campaign on social media through these influencers or what we would like to call them these maker influencers, these content creators that are occupying uh, a lot of our attention these days. So we wanted to get content created through them and the content needed to emphasize on the fact that Fanta and OIO make a great, great combination. So the idea was to uh, give a brand message in a way that generates brand love rather than brand hatred and uh, to do it in a more organic way to quote unquote to create an ad that doesn't look like an ad and that is the only way you can retain the consumer's attention. The campaign, uh, the medium that we had been given for this campaign was Instagram which is particularly difficult uh, because it limits the scope of virality and so on and so forth. Uh, but the tactic used for this campaign, what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a social sort of concept that these content creators could rally around and talk around and create their art around and yet it should be able to buoy the brand's communication as well. So it, there needed to be a social-led campaign that also had the brand communication smartly integrated into it. So the, the campaign direction that we thought of um, was Fanta to my OFO, which is the idea is it's supposed to be a moniker, it's supposed to be a, a, a replacement for the yin to my yang or the butter to my bread meaning that these two things make a great combination. So the Fanta to my OEV can be my guitar, it can be my mom, it can be my dog, my cat, uh, my fitness, uh, you know, anything at all. So it's, everybody has this special something or a special someone that makes a great combination with them. So that's what we wanted to highlight in this campaign as well. So we threw this uh, challenge out to all of our content creators that, you know, what's the Fanta to your OEV? tell the world about it and ask the world, ask your followers what the fact that their way is and what things make a great combination with them. I mean this is an, as, as of this uh, particular recording, this interview, this is still an ongoing campaign, right? So uh, anything that I say is a shot in the dark so far. Uh, but the tactics that seem to be generating better result is the tactic, something that we call co-creation, right? So the idea is that an advertising agency has this sort of uh, specialized role to play, right? They're great at creating these concepts and these very, very intricate uh, conceptual directions that can rally the brand's message, right? And then there are these this new breed of content creators that are great at making everyday content. So they will be making uh, pictures, shooting videos, writing songs, so on and so forth on a regular basis. And co-creation is this philosophy whereby the agency and these independent content creators come together, brainstorm, and then work in a relationship to push out content, right? So that is why this campaign has seen the success that it has because um, there seems we we are thanks to our clients who have been particularly generous in this. We are able to give our content creators the independence they need, and yet they are they are the content creators are listening to us because we are able to funnel the brand's message in a, in a, in a very organic, natural way that doesn't alienate their audiences. So once again, since this campaign is ongoing, I can't conclusively say what the campaign result was, but what we're seeing is uh, very fairly encouraging. 
so because this campaign is primarily be, is being uh, run on the influencers on the content creators own channels and platforms on instagram we're seeing a far higher engagement rate than you would see otherwise right so um, even without uh, paid media support uh, you're able to see engagement rates of up to 13% and you know that is way above the industry average uh, and it, it way above the industry average if you look at brands so brands if you look at brand pages they will be around 1% 2% something like that but this is 10 times as much or even more so so far the results have been very encouraging so since this is an experimental campaign uh, and and this stuff is uh, uh, relatively new. There's no guidebook per se of how this needs to be done, uh, especially in a market like Pakistan. We've we've learned a ton of ton of really interesting stuff during this campaign. So some of the few things that I can recall off the top of my head is that uh, these influencers, these content creators, are artists and they have these artist mentality, right? So they're not commercial artists, the likes of we're used to. They're not people like movie gods and rock stars which know how to uh, honor a contract and how to meet deadlines and timelines and schedule their stuff accordingly these are these are they're primarily everyday people that have an artistic inclination inclination and they have built this wonderful followers right so what we saw was that sometimes they don't deliver things on time something happens they're busy they have this they have that and we're not able to push out content like we wanted to so one thing that we've learned is that we should have a backup and we should uh, prioritize and manage the delivery of this content so that we know that when we want to do a burst, nobody pulls out of it at the last moment. Another thing that has uh, come up in this, in this uh, process is that um, while we have been very, very blessed in terms of the brands that are involved in this Fanta and whatever, they've been very generous in giving the sort of approvals that we wanted to get this content out i think that needs to be communicated right on the outset right that this content might be uh, i mean they're artists so you have to give them their sort of uh, the, the sort of independence they need the sort of freedom they need for their creativity to shine and only when that independence is given by both the agency and the brands and this has been good so far is when they will be able to create a content that can get them high engagement rates on their own platforms. So I would say that uh, if brands continue to be so generous and brands continue to be so experimental, we will begin to see uh, a shift towards ads not looking like ads, right? So while this was uh, this campaign might have been the first of its kind in Pakistan and perhaps in the region as well. Uh, but you'll be you'll be able to see more and more stuff that doesn't feel intrusive, that doesn't feel like an ad per se, that feels like part of the stuff we consume on our phones or our TVs or here and there everywhere. So you're beginning to see branding coming out in a more uh, inherently inherent way, in a more organic way, in a more natural way that you don't feel like you're being sold. So that is where I think uh, the future of marketing and advertising is going towards. And uh, if if we continue to have these sort of pioneering campaigns and these sort of pioneering brands to support these campaigns, I think we'll be able to see much more interesting stuff coming out of our country, uh, the sort of stuff that can capture the attention of the international media and even rewards.